Brazil represents a huge opportunity for volunteering. The country has almost 200 million people and the fourth largest population in the world. There are 19 million smartphones only in the country, or almost 9% of the total mobile phone market. Brazil is the number one country in social difference in the world, and on site, a big potential market for volunteers, well-educated people with a great access to resources, including technology, in order a great population need. We have about 25% of population in the middle class, and 35% above the poor line. Brazil has a huge mark in development. App sales grew 83% last year, which shows how valuable it is to projects like Solidary App. We don't have any direct competitors unlike the US market. Our app is designed for people who want to find, connect, and share volunteers' experience. We want to give every person willing to help the ability to do so, and thus no opportunities for action are wasted or missed. In our app, you can sign up as an institution or as a volunteer, registering your information to fill a profile. After the registration, when you log in, you can choose to find the institutions um, through the map, or you can choose by category. In the institution's uh, profile, you can find photos, um, a checking button, and contact. In the volunteer's profile, you can also find photos and a contact. And finally, we have the ranking that shows the top volunteers, the volunteers that interact more, making check-ins, donating, and post pi posting pictures. These social features are what differentiate our app from current competitors. In Brazil, the public health system and public education are still very precarious compared to the private ones. So there is still a big necessity for, for the existence of institutions that fit this need. Teenagers are more connected to the technology than anybody, then spend most of the time uh, using smartphones. For this reason, they are the target public for our app. And that's why internet and word of mouth are the most useful strategy to recruit volunteers. And to grow our base of users, we'll partner with companies and schools, being the only tool for the engaged students, interns, and trainees. Besides, just before leaving Brazil, the mayor of Santos, our town, contacted us promising some support with the database of institutions as soon as we get back to our country. And to spread our brand on the media, we invest in so strong social networks presence, Google AdSense, and intense PR campaign. We have already started our marketing campaign on some social medias. The feedback from public has been great, and our social networks has grown increasingly. Look how many likes and viewers we have. Today, we have more than 1,300 likes on our page in Facebook. So the curve in the graph shows too that our app only tends to grow. Our app is better than the others because it's easy and simple to use, it, caring about the real situation of the institutions and, and take advantage of our great potential marketing. And um, we see poverty every day. We see people with bigger problems than us. And then we, when we realize that they are smiling, it's just, it's just different. And it's a lesson to learn, you know. And it can be a start of a road. And this road has a better world with other mentally of people, you know. See the people in poverty smiling and know that our problem is this not worth than then. Great, and I wondered, since there isn't any competition in your country now, do you anticipate that there will be? Uh, and are there any countries whose apps you have found inspiring to tackle this issue? We have a translator on stage, so <laughs> for the question. Actually, uh, the idea of the app came from an inspiration we have at school, because we have a social project at school where we go to communities, we go to institutions to help them um, sometimes in the week. So we don't have any other app that inspired us. That's why we created our own. How, how would you um, 
scale this and um, market it um, across Brazil? And and would you would you expand even outside of Brazil um, to other organizations? And then also, I guess, kind of a related question to that is is how would you get the op volunteer opportunities? Um, to, to post or, or how, how would how would those be identified um, and would you partner with those organizations perhaps just before leaving Brazil uh, the mayor of Santos wanted to to see our project and contacted us to and he promises a future support with the database of the institutions. So he said, like, you, we can do a congress with all institutions of our city and show them our project and make future plans like uh, donation of tablets and cell phones to the institutions institution. can use this. So we can do this in all the country if we, we work for yeah. Yeah, and we plan to, to expand this. If, if other countries have uh, interested, of course. I'm going to ask a simple question. How do you plan on making money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, our idea is to partner with companies and schools so they can pay for a premium service and pay for better search. So uh, it, it's always going to be free for users and institutions. And uh, that's the idea. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Thank you ladies. <laughs> Great job.